for joining me and a special thanks to those of you who are joining me from Instagram for clicking on the link to find out more about Hourglass products. I love their powder products and I'm just going to pick up what I have here and talk you through them. The first is this palette and it is the ambient lighting edit and this came out about a year ago I know some people were complaining about the size but for travel purposes I think this is an excellent size I don't want anything bigger than this and it will take forever to get through this product anyway this has two blushes and what I like to do and I did that today is I like to layer them so I started with this product this is the uh, mood exposure blush and I just apply that to the majority of my cheeks and then I took this brighter color the luminous flush and I kind of popped it right in the middle so that's kind of a nice combination to have it gives a little dimension to the cheeks and then we've got the bronzer in luminous bronze light and I use that to bronze up the exterior of my face under the cheekbones and then under the jaw as well and then we've got three powders up here dim light iridescent light and diffuse light and what I do is if I put powder to set my under eyes I will take a brush and just take pick up this light color and then dust it off I believe Tati does that too so I probably got that idea from her and then these other two are things that I will kind of swirl together just to roll on the face if I'm looking for a little bit of a more pink finish and then uh, I'll just use this stuff I'm looking for a little bit more of a tan finish that's that excellent for travel I also have another palette which I got before that I probably don't need all these palettes but I love these products so I just buy them because I love them and this is the ambient lighting palette in dim light incandescent light and radiant light again I'll just swirl these all together and apply them to my face so I'll use this for travel, I'll use this for every day. If I need to take down the tan-ness of the radiant light, then that's what I'll do. I'll swirl those all together and then apply them with a brush. The next product I have is the Euphoric Strobe Light. It's a highlighter excellent for if you have a little bit of texture on your skin, if you have some fine lines, because this doesn't emphasize it. Some highlighters can do that, and so I'm really careful about which ones I choose. I did get the little spongy thing that I'll insert a picture. I can't find it right now, but I have the little sponge that applies it, or you can just take a little fan brush and then dust that on your cheeks, the bridge of your nose right here along the sides of your forehead, and then uh, Cupid's bow, and then your chin if you want. Sometimes it can look a little shiny in pictures, so just be careful with that, but I have it in Euphoric Strobe Light for my complexion. Let's see, another powder that I have is Luminous Light. I don't use this as much as when I'm not as tan. I'll use this as an all over powder, just to set everything and then give that glow again. Then we've got this blush that I have. It's in Diffused Heat. It is the same color that is in the uh, palette here. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> I thought it was the same color. These are different colors. This in the middle here is luminous flush and this is diffused heat. This is a bit more a corally and a little bit more intense. So if I want to intensify my blush, I will use this. That's so funny, I thought they were the same. And then we just have the radiant light again, which I started out with in the Instagram posting. And this is my go-to right now. Love these products, love how they are so finely milled and that they have a little magic trick with the little shimmers that are in there that help to diffuse that light and blur those imperfections. So if you learned something about Hourglass products, if you like this video or if you are just entertained, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thank you.